Hey Web World, Scotty D for Interface Webcast. Um, as most of you already know, we lost a great legend in tech yesterday. I sit here in the Interface Webcast studio. As you can see behind me, quite a mess. We are in the middle of construction. Uh, big things happening here at Interface Webcast. I got up this morning and wanted to gather my thoughts on how I felt about what was released in the press yesterday. And I, I've got to tell you, in my career, I've met but a few people that I've considered to be a true leader. One that you would be proud to work with or for. And Steve Jobs is one of them. Imagine, if you will, some of the earliest brainstorming sessions between Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak at Apple. It must have been magical. Those few original moments changed history. Not just tech history, but history of life as we know it. The entrepreneur, innovator, visionary, creative genius Steve Jobs was able to think outside of the box. Think within the human mind as to not what was only beautiful but functional and surround himself with others who believed in being successfully different. While some may not like Steve Jobs or Apple, they can't deny the impact of what he as a man did for us and how he changed the world. Beyond the insurmountable creations that came from Apple, the use of a mouse in a graphical, in a graphical user interface, um, the iPod, the iPad. Without Steve Jobs, there would not be some other greats. Um, many don't know that when Steve left Apple in 1985, he went on to create a company, Next. N-E-X-T. And Next was a computer company who's focused on creating powerful business and educational computers. And, and, and while it wasn't as successful as Apple, it no doubt had an impact. Um, Tim, uh, uh, Tim Berners-Lee uh, uh, famously used the Next Cube workstation to lay down um, the foundations of the first web server. And even the the web browsers and John Carmack wrote Wolfenstein 3D and Doom which even still today rank on the most influential games list of all time and he 
develop these on that same computer, the next cube. Without Steve, we might have a different internet or a different gaming industry. Now, now shortly after, in 1986, Steve purchased the graphic group from Lucas Films and renamed it Pixar. Many don't know, but Pixar was not originally a company making uh, award-winning motion pictures. When Pixar was created by Steve, they were a company with goals to manufacture high-end graphics hardware. Then, after a short run, they switched the game to producing monumental um, animated movies, of which Buzz Lightyear and Woody, Nemo, Lightning McQueen, Mater, to name a few, were born. While Steve may not be with us anymore, his legacy will no doubt live on forever. Steve Jobs, I, myself, and we as the world will miss you. Farewell.